a landmark when you're creating something? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I've never made stuff that you Final make. Braces. What was that? Final braces. Yeah, right. Like, don't you make stuff that you're going to, like, put a strap around here and, like, you know, rah, rah, shout. I don't know. Whatever you're going to make, it'd be nice to know where that feast is. So, yeah, I'm just looking good at palpating. My, my world a little different. We want to palpate for any abnormalities, fractures, those kind of things. Whatever. Okay. So, there you go. Body clavicle. Moving on. Yes, C joining, C joints. Good. So I'm going to take that body of clavicle, work on down, find the notch. Boom, there it is. That bony prominence right there is the SC joint. Good. Come on around the lateral side. And AC joint, a little bit more tricky sometimes. Sometimes you feel like there's a whole just broad flat nothingness. It's like, what? But here I feel an indentation. So I feel the, the clavicle comes across. I now feel the chromion over the top. And right where those two come together, the prominence, which is the AC joint. All right, some of you, very nothingness. Some of you, a really pronounced boom. There it is, can't miss it. There, yeah, yeah, you can see it from here. Just see it from across the street. Perfect, all right, got it. Moving on, what else? Ooh, scapular stuff. Let's run all the way on the scapular stuff and then find these items. So come on around. We're going to, now, um, in, I'm gonna say okay to palpate on top of clothes, is that all right? All right, in, in my other world, we say no clothes. Uh, take off the shirts, ladies, you know, in, in appropriate under attire. But in this case, duh, who cares? Because you'll be palpating over clothes, I'm, ass I'm assuming more more or less than you, you don't have your patient just robe on. No, we will be doing this trip on. Yeah, it's tripping. Yeah, it's tripping. Okay. <laughs> T-shirts are okay. Okay, we're outside and in front of God in the world. All right, so. Palpating structures. We have the, the chromium process. We already kind of found it, but there it is, right up on top. Boom. Can't miss it, right? You squeeze it, find the anterior and posterior. Come to the side a little bit. There you go. Anterior and superior surfaces, so that you can enter posterior. I'm saying I'm outside. I'm confused. Anterior and posterior surfaces, structures on it. The chromion. Boom, right there. Okay. We should find the breadth of that sucker. Then from there, it's nice to slide on down. Um, no, nah, never mind, sorry, spin around. Corticoid process, it's up on front, right? Corticoid process. So if this is a struggle to find, uh, a little painful maybe, or no? Okay. Quite. All right, good, it's right there. If this is a tough find, there's a really simple way to go about it. Come from the backside, put your hand, your palm, right on the acromion, right there, okay? And then, if you're sort of angling inwards here, your first or second or third digit, first or second finger, will be pretty much right on the coracoid process, right there. And on the chromion, wrap around, oh yeah, boom, get your middle fingers right on that sucker. Pretty easy to find. Otherwise, you end up kind of poking around a little bit. Uh, it's easy to end up kind of lateral. We think it's way out over here, and it's not. It's gonna come back in, and there it is. Okay, that's a great bone to help us find another muscle we'll, we'll look after in just a moment. All right, chromion process, coracoid process. Moving on down, yeah, so from the chromion, Spinal scap, good. So from the chromion, work our way right down the spinal scapula. Bony prominence all the way down. Boom. We get to the very end of that. And what do we come to? The smooth triangular space. Remember that beast? So the smooth triangular space at the base of the spinal scapula. That's the official name. Smooth triangular space at the base of the spinal scapula. I would say smooth triangular space. Is that okay? So spinal scapula comes on down. We trace it down. Hit the smooth triangular space right there. Is that the same thing as you? I don't know. Oh, that's right. I mean, I'm not sure <laughs> oh. oh, the root. Yeah, See, that's that's old, old. That's the old school thing. The, I don't know. We don't. We didn't never call it that anymore. Since the 20s, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's the smooth triangular space. The picture. Yeah, ignore that. Okay. Good. I'll never call it that. Just in case you wondered. Good. From there, we can come on down the medial border. Good, that was next, good. Right, medial border. Mm -hmm. Boom, we hit the inferior angle, which is down, I think, a, a couple of notches. Sorry about that, I should bring that next, because if I trace it down, we get the inferior angle. Then up the lateral border. A bit more difficult to find, right? Because you got this big old latissimus. And Terry's major, right there, baby lats. So. Impressive, yeah. Impressive, yeah, impressive isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Man, you're getting props already. <laughs> so, you're gonna come in there and just, just give a little pressure. Get up in there, make sure you can find that sucker, okay? Inferior angle, lateral border, coming up. At some point in time, you're gonna lose its contact because it gets all just too fleshy. It's been three years, don't even try anymore. 
All right, and then the superior angle. We'll come back around to the smooth triangular face, the base of the spine, the scapula. Good. And now start to work your way north. Come on up. That's the you know, superior direction, I should say. And you're going to find a bony prominence up there. Boom, there it is, okay? So, just just so you know, people might do this to you. Don't do this to other people, okay? Or you know, like your, your, your significant other person is sitting there, you know, and you come up and you go, oh, your muscles are all so tense, you know, and you start mashing on these things. Say, wow, you have a big old nasty trigger point right there. And guess what that is? That's a bone. That's called the superior angle. Don't do that. Because you're talking, what you're talking about before, you know, beat on it until it bruises. And that's what's going to happen. That's never a good day, okay? To be mushing heavily on that. Now, I know in your job, you're not going to be massaging stuff. But in my world, it's like, don't massage. That's a bone. It's like, oh, here, let me let me fix your lecrin on. Ooh, lovely massage. <laughs> it feels good, huh? No, it's a bone, people. Okay? So superior angle, please don't mash on it. You just find it. Boom, there it is. Nice and, nice and prominent. Okay? Now, some of you have, like Kim, big muscle mass up here. And so they're harder to find with big muscle mass. But do your best that you can to get through it. And boom, you're on it. Okay?